Are we live yet? I think it's really happening. What's up, everyone? Two live streams in one night. Uh, I had to finish this video anyways, so I thought we would live stream it, get it out of the way, um, and do it live. Get it now. Why wait, right? So this is the Jones 64 gigabyte image. I made a previous video that's linked in the description below that you can uh, you can get a hold of that image if you're interested. It's like two part files. It's only 64 gigs, so I think that's a really big uh, difference between this and a lot of other images I've been posting recently. Yeah, Virgil, we're back. Um, and so with that, you know, 64, you got to really be specific at what you want to put on this image. So as you saw in the previous video, I mean, it has Nintendo 64 as the full collection, 303. The arcades are a little lacking, but there's a lot of really strong titles. However, I do think there's still a lot of titles that don't need to be on there. I've spent about, you know, a few, probably total three, four hours on this image now. You're probably wondering where the hell am I going on this image? I'm trying to go to arcade games. Uh, there still is a lot, but I, I was like, oh, you know, my first video, I was like, oh man, this guy really went through his arcade games and got rid of the ones that don't work. But I don't think he really did because there's still a lot of games that don't run. I mean, I would say it's like 10%, but you would think that like, you know, so they have the good games like X-Men, X-Men from Street Fighter, X-Men Children of Adam, that was a little work, really good, WrestleMania, but like Gretzky, this hockey game doesn't run well, not a good game. Soul Calibur is on here, that doesn't work well. Mario Brothers Excite Bike, yeah, all good. Uh, but Mortal Kombat, like this, runs really laggy that's a game that i would get rid of um there's a lot on there's like another you know oh they have primal rage which doesn't run they have um tekken 3 on here i don't know why you would put tekken 3 there's no way that game's gonna run um does have ninja turtles though it does have battle toads um street fighter i'm not sure um street fighter i'm not sure they, they have street fighter 2 like this game street fighter 3 plus like it's not gonna run on a pie. Like, are you joking me? Uh, Street Fighter Alpha does run. I don't know if they have every single Street Fighter 2. And like Metal Slug, for example, they're missing Metal Slug 4 and 5. They have 1, 2, 3, and then X. So, I mean, as much as I, I thought like, oh man, this image they really went through and they got the perfect arcade games. It's not perfect. Um, yeah, this, so this arcade, so it's somebody in the chat, you know, perhaps you're saying 4,000. This, this image only has like 600 arcade games. So I figured that where all the other images we're seeing have like 2,000, 3,000 even. And there's no way all 3,000 run. We know that there's a lot of Mahjong games that nobody, I don't know who plays. Uh, and so what I'm saying is this one only has 500. So I would think that they trimmed it down to like the best 500. But uh, like Puzzle Bubble, yeah, that's a good game. There are definitely really good games on here. But again, Pro Primal Rage, another example. I've, I've given you like at least five or six examples so far, right? There's a lot. I'm probably missing some as well that uh, these games just don't run on the Pi. And uh, so if you really did go through the image, you would have deleted those. NARC runs, Blitz doesn't run, Hang Time doesn't run, NBA Jam does. Um, so as you can see about every let Mortal Kombat 2 run. But Mortal Kombat 3 Ultimate, so here's the Metal Slug trigger, only has one, two, three, and X. Um, but it does have Marvel's Capcom and Marvel. So it has some really solid titles, don't get me wrong. My, my initial th theory was, though, that um, is only, yeah, I know. Somebody's making fun of me because I said only 600 games. Yeah, that's true. I mean, 600 games would take you a really long time to go through. But I was just saying that, you know, now that all these images are coming out, we have to be very particular on, uh, so like Killer Instinct 2. Like, come on. Everyone knows Killer Instinct doesn't run on the pie. We all hope and we dream. And it makes me sad. It makes me sad when you scroll over here and you want to play. I'm like, let yes, Killer Instinct 2. Let start and then nothing happens. It's very depressing. Same thing with Killer Instinct 1. Great games does not work on the Pi. Hook works. Uh, so uh, Gunbird's great game, by the way. Gunbird 1 and 2. So there's still plenty of awesome games, Ghouls and Ghosts. Great game, Galaga series, great series. Darius, Final Fury, Dungeons and Dragons, both games really good. So they have, there's good games on here. Don't get me wrong. Awesome games. I'm just being, if, if the whole idea was to trim this arcade set down, there are certain games that have very high graphics 
that could have been taken out and saved you space, especially if you're trying to go really, really tiny on the 64 gig. Let's just go through here really quick. Battletoads does work, by the way. Great classic game. Kicking those... Uh, I love it when they kick them off the screen. That's the best. There you go. Boom. Uh, great game. Okay, I think we're just about done. Okay. So you saw Altered Beast is on here. Good game. Okay. So that's the... Um, upside down. Who's upside down? Uh, cool. So that was MAME, uh, CPS 1 and 2, they don't have CPS 3, Atari, TurboGrafx 16. It has all the Nintendo 64, which is good to see. You know, I enjoy a lot of Nintendo 64 games on Pi. I know Pi gets like a bad rep with Nintendo 64, but, you know, Mario Kart's a great game. Super Mario is a great game. Um, there's a lot of good games. Uh, um, what's that game that where you drive the cars, something X, um, someone in chat will know, but, uh, the, um, F-Zero is a pretty good game uh, as well. Neo Geo has a standard 140 or whatever. PlayStation, same collections you see on all the images. Um, but the best thing of all was the PlayStation minis. I do have a recommendation for you on this image. So two things, number one is the controls are really funky on here. You can see my previous image. You wanna go in, go into um, emulation station, reset the controls and then rebind your controls. The other thing is retro arc is all messed up. Uh, what I'm gonna do actually is post a link to some config files that I recommend just, just tossing in these config files because the start select exit is not correct on this image to start. So just swap out those config files or change. You gotta bind to each controller the correct start select. This is what this unicycle guy's gonna do. Yeah, see people in the chat are saying it runs fine. Come on, marshmallow dog. What are you talking about, Avery? You seen the marshmallow dog? Uh, all right, so I'm just reading some of these comments. Yeah, yeah, Mad Little Pixel and Paps, we were talking music, and uh, they're like, I got this game. I don't know if you saw the previous video that we talked about the Pie Piggy, and I was looking for this game. Oh, I'm sorry, this, this I forgot. You guys got me all distracted with the chat. So what you want to do is you want to press the right, is it the right button? The, the left trigger. Uh, that's what my config is, and it goes into this emulation station. And uh, all the minis weren't straight, so what I did was I went into emulators, and I went into... I don't recommend doing this to all your systems, but go down to Sega PSP, Sony PSP, sorry, Sony PSP minis, and then go down here, and then click Generate Collection ROM List, and then go ahead and click A. And uh, what that does is uh, it unlocks some of the PSP minis. They weren't all scraped to begin with in a track mode. They were probably working for you fine in the emulation station, but here in a track mode, you had to re, uh, re, re um, scrape those to get them, and then that's how you got them. So that's how I was able to get this game. For some reason, it was working before. Who knows? Maybe I was playing it in the emulation station before. I'm kind of a space case, so I'm not sure about that. But I am sure that I got this. Everyone thought I was crazy in the last video because I told them there was a unicycle game, and they saw me scroll through all these games, and I finally found it. And I don't even know if it's a great game. I just started playing it and it looked really fun. So here we go, tour mode. So the controls are fairly simple. Uh, four of the buttons on your controller do, or two of the buttons do the same thing. Two of, two of the four do the same thing, okay. Uh, so you can center your arms, you can go and then you can move it and then you can do it, you'll see in a second, and then you can jump, okay. I'm not good at this game. This is like my, this is like, I've had 30 seconds in this game before this. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, see, I'm not crazy, guy. Hold it. Hold it. Trust. Trust. All right, here we go. Okay, so I got to move over. This hand is down. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, I had to move over one more. Okay. Okay. I am so relieved. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Super fat. So, yeah. So, uh, before I started playing this game, those are the two big takeaways that, that are probably the most vital for this whole video which is this image is good, the controls are a little whack, and you wanna go ahead and rescrape some of those PSP mini games to get them unlocked. Uh, this is something you get with this image, you don't get, I don't know if there's any other 64 gig images with um, PSP minis on it. So uh, a lot of them are fun like this. And uh, so center your arms, okay, there we go. Got one. Okay, here we go, up, up, okay. We're doing good, we're doing good. 
Okay, okay. Rock. Center. Center arm. Oh, made it. Faster. Okay, here we go. Got him. One out of four. What does the one out of four mean? Got him! Got him! Okay, let's see. Center. Got him. Oh, I have to get four stars. Got him. Got him. This is, uh, requires a lot of concentration. Got him. Got him. Got him. All right, this is honestly pretty stressful. Got him. Got him. Faster. Got him. I'm killing it, guys. Oh, oh God. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm really stressed, guys. I don't know if you can see it, but I, I'm net. This is the far. You saw it. Like, you, on it, on the farthest I've ever gotten through is one. This is the only time I've been through even two. I'm not even lying, guys. <sighs> do I need stars? What do I need? <laughs> pretty good. Thanks, Jose. I'm glad somebody thinks. This is Pepsi Man, but he's much buffer. I think he's been laying off the sugar. Yes, this is the unicycle game. <sighs> Turn into a drinking game. It's kind of late. I'm, I'm, I need to get ready for bed. We'll do a... Um, a drinking stream for sure. Maybe over the weekend. I actually have a buddy who wants to do a collab video who's not on YouTube but just wants to do like a video. And uh, we're going to do another blind taste test, um, was the idea. But maybe we can incorporate retro games and drinking. Oh, so there's a jump. I haven't messed with that. All right, here we go, Darn it. Easy, come on. You know, a lot of it was I didn't know the controls. What do you do with the cow? Tip the cow? Faster. Oh, that was so close. Zoom make a good drinking game. Drink every time you, uh... Oh, my. Do you have to... I hope you don't have to start back over again. Okay, thank God. I can see how this can be frustrating, because, like, if I died on the last rat... Like, that last one, like, like two to go, think about how... Frustrating that would be. Oh, that's bad. What's jump? One of these is jump. How come I can't jump up? There it is. Okay, so that's jump. Okay, got one. Two. Three. Can you, do you jump over the cow or? Got it. Oh, I jumped that! Too, too late, too late, too late. Good night, Virgil. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for chatting with us. Appreciate it. Alright, last try. And then, uh... Any other questions on this image? This is Jones. 64 gigabyte running Motion Blue 4. Motion Blue is very nice. Love it. Really? Oh, I guess this game takes that long to load. Like, I, that's as fast as you can get through this menu. 
How did the PlayStation games load? Okay, so that was the game, but uh, as you can see, we unlocked this game, 2D, that we didn't have before. The Yeti Sports Throw, that game was new. So you unlock some games when you scrape them. As far as if you were using a track mode before, these games are all the same. Tennis, Trailblazer, this is new. Top Trumps NBA All-Stars. Top Gun, we played that game. We played that game in the last stream, the... Dark Warrior. I wonder if that runs. That one might not run. And I don't want to just freeze this stream to freeze it. Sky Force. A couple shoot 'em ups. The upside down. This game looks really interesting. You can shift from like going up, up to down. Like, pretty cool concept. So that's what's cool about this image. It's a 64, and you get all the. Um, you get all the, the PSP minis and some good stuff. Red Bull Fighters. Nice. That's just all stunts. Nice. You can zoom in. This kind of reminded me of the Bernstein Bears. But that's the question, guys. Was it Bernstein? Or Bernstein. Which one was it? Because there's like a big conspiracy. I don't know if you Google it, I swear. Google it. There's a conspiracy on that of what it is. And people think that they change the name. And it's it's really. Because, right, what do you guys? Stein. Yeah. Do you think it's Stein? Bernstein. Beers. Okay. We got boat racing. So you got a lot of titles here. Oh, this game looks kind of interesting. Kind of like a... What was that game? Uh, Day of the Tentacle. Kind of reminds me of Day of the Tentacle. But nicer graphic. All right, yeah, thank you for bringing that up, Einzim. Yeah, that's the other conspiracy, right? Which is, was there ever a, a movie with Sinbad Genie? No, that's, I mean, it's, it's real, right? It's all a conspiracy. Conspiracy theories. So this game is really frustrating. If anybody ever wants to just test your patience, play this game. It, yeah. It'll test anybody's patience. Perfect game. Perfect first date game. Perfect first date game. Man, there's so many games here. So we're just talking about, you know, there's like 500 titles here. And you turn, in the beginning of this video, you heard me talking about the main game. And there's 500. I mean, 500 is a lot of games. Yes, the Earth is also flat. How did you know? Okay, Ducati Challenge, do not play this game. Awful game. I don't, maybe it was because I was in beginner mode, but to me it just felt like it was not a real... It was really fake. Okay, and now there's two carnival carnivores games. Before I scraped, there wasn't one. So that's like a GTA type of game. I want to play one racing game if I can find it. There's a couple racing games on here. Let's get to it here, people. What's that? Beach Buzzin Chopper. That's if you ever wanted to be a Coast Guard. You can be a Coast Guard for the day. This game looks interesting. Let's try it. Let's uh, try it. You've owned two PSPs. 
So there's a difference between PSP and PSP Mini, right? There's like those are two different releases. Does one allow you to play the other? I never owned a PSP. Get ready to see a master in action. Watch my jump. What is that word? How trash. Woo ha. You saw that? You saw that? No one can beat that. I think I'm gonna skip. Sorry guys. Here we go. Later on in the junkyard. Okay, now watch this. Vroom, watch out, you're flying too far. <gasps> he went into the, the, the place with the ooze. Ah, ouch, that was painful. But what is this place? Can anyone hear me? Hey, Grandpa, I can hear you. What is this? Okay. Oh, this is Grandpa? And that means sneaking through a lot of halls and just by deadly creatures. I can try. Maybe you can, Sonny. Luckily, you're a narrow depot of experimental public laws. You can get in one, and you might be able to ride through the dangerous cellars. Start with level one. Okay, welcome to the cellar. Da, 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 da. First, you have to go right. You can use directional buttons or analog stick. Oh, I can use your analog stick in here. That's nice. And, okay, that's... This is a terminal. Approach it to display useful hints and help on how to get played through the game. You can look around the level, use directional buttons or analog stick while holding that button. Okay, there we go. Okay. You can climb onto obstacles to the height of one tile. Just move against an ob obstacle and it will happen automatically. Look at that, he does like a kickflip up there. Boom. So he doesn't actually jump. He, this is like more of a, like a game of chess. Yeah, mostly garbage. <laughs> this is Professor's respawning device. It is a very important machine in the game. If you touch it, you will appear next to it. Okay, so that's like a save point. These corridors are dangerous. For example, watch out for the leaking pipes. Acid drops can kill you if they hit you. Go under them quickly, but don't touch the acid. Jesus. Yeah, kids, don't ever do acid. You manage to get through this part. At the end of each level, you will find exit doors like these. Okay, cool. This reminds me a lot of Duke Nukem, too. Or Katana King, yeah, I can see that as well. What? Oh, I pressed back, sorry. Okay, here we go. So this is danger. You better avoid it. Okay, yeah, you do want to avoid that. Okay. Oh, you can go faster too. Good to know. You might notice you can ride faster on when moving at the high speed. You can automatically jump when you reach the end of the platform. Oh, there we go. It's not always the best idea to ride at high speeds. Use speed wisely. You will get over the obstacle and you'll ride into something else. Was that like a lesson? They tried to teach me a lesson there? Seems like it. So watch out when you do the high speed. So, whoa, okay. Okay. That was easy. Music talk. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Minis, I feel like Marilyn Manson spread the seed while touring in Asia. <laughs> yeah, most of the No, it's all good about the music talk. So we're talking about music. Looks like a lot of industrial and rock music. A lot of fans of industrial rock music. This is an interesting topic, so when this video finally gets posted, if you make it this far in the video, it'll be interesting to see. That thing looks kind of cool, Rocket Gaming. It's kind of like Operation, but you're a car. Let us know what kind of music you're into in the comments below. Let's let's see it. Okay, and then we're back at that. We want to find a racing... There was a cool little racing game that I hadn't tried yet. This time I won't spend hours finding it, I don't think. It's not Tiny Hawk. The Terminator. Street Smarts. Man, you guys have some random fans. Love to check them out. Okay, here we go. Route 66. No thanks. That does not look fun. The thing is, you think you could find like a gem. You find. Like the three, the, the unicycle game was interesting. Some pinball games could be fun. They have good Tetris game in here as well, by the way.
Uh, there's a tank game. All right, here we go. I want to try this one. Monochrome Racing. YouTube favorites. <laughs> There's no data. Uh-oh. Player one. Here we go. Select profile. I'm good with this guy. I'm good with Cyber one. Cyber one's a dope name. Start was finished. Okay, cool. Cyber five, I guess. Yeah, it seems cool. I don't know. Let's go back here. Electric color. Go green. Play. Uh, career. Acceleration, speed, handling. I have 13. Can I buy all of them? Should we go defense? I think we should be really weak. Okay, let's be really weak, but really fast. Is that what our odds are? Yeah, let's do that. By you. All right, cool. Oh, I can like add stuff to it. What is this? Upgrades. I don't like that thing in the front. Pretty cool. Get some shields on there. So lots of defense we added. To add this too. We should probably need a gun in the front and in the back. More armor. All right, here we go. All right, Pap, see you later. Thanks for hanging out. I remember drinking game, we'll, we'll figure something out. Man, they are way bigger than me. What did they, what happened over here? In HUD, looks like this, it means that the players have been dropped out of the game. Is there a fire button here? Oh, dude, what did I just do? You lose. Oh, I, I killed myself. Oh, dude. Where is the, uh, oh, there we go. What if I run into him like this? I, I honestly don't, okay, bomb, you win. Wow, is this game really that easy? Dude, Paps, thank you. Thank you. For, for for going on though, if you are gonna donate, it's better, it is Paps. You're awesome, I love you, thank you. Uh, but in the future, if you're gonna donate, just donate through the PayPal link because uh, YouTube's pretty greedy. That was my, this is my first time using this super chat. They take, they take 30% where PayPal takes like, I don't know, 5%, something like that. So it's like, if you give me 10, you're actually only giving me seven. Which, uh, you actually are giving me 10. You are, thank you. But I'm just saying that uh, YouTube's a little greedy, but thank you. Oh, okay, I get it then, dude. It's all good. I mean, it's all good. I'm just saying like, if you had a choice. You know, I just, my thing is like, screw the middle person, you know? Like, let's not give the middle person too much. They're already getting a lot. Like, think about all the ads you watch already. These controls are really difficult. Okay, so I'm finally getting in a round where, I think the whole point is that you can't see out of your car because you have all those, um, I think I win, right? It's like, all right. Okay, weird game, but yeah, thank you, Avery. You get it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good for non-PayPal users, um, but uh, yeah, it's that. And then I'm actually still with, um, I use a, uh, 
I'm I'm in a contract with like a, a company that I'm in with Maker Studio, the same people that that like PewDiePie got kicked off of or whatever. And so they get a cut as well. So it, it trickles down and it becomes way, 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 even less. I'll put a video about that soon though, but I'll be I'll be jumping off a maker here in the next day or two, actually. My contract ends. So that'll be good times. I'll make a video about that. But I'm still in contract, so I don't want to say anything that'll get me in trouble. <laughs> okay, so here you go, guys. This is the Jones 64 gigabyte image. It's all the classic retro systems. It will fit on a 64 gigabyte car, no problem. It's much under the thing. You won't need to shrink it. Uh, yeah, that's the thing about needing a PayPal account, totally. Yeah, the donate link in the description, exactly. Yeah, it's in all my videos. I try to post in all my videos if you feel inclined. In the description, there's a little paypal.me link. And uh, they take out less, way less more money than the Super Chat does. And I mean, if you do, and then you don't have to even donate money. Like the reason why I do that, I do the affiliates is that's another way that I get a little kickback. You guys get all the same. It's the same price for you, but just going that little extra mile. Because I know not all of you have extra money to spend. I get it. But if you do, you know, if you do donate, if not, the affiliate links is awesome, awesome. And uh, as much as I think YouTubers never talk about money, like some are really vocal about money and everything. I think it really does motivate people. Even the people that are like, oh, the money doesn't really matter. Like it, like it feels good. It's like being a waiter or a bartender and you get a really big tip. It's like, wow. You know, you, cause it, cause not only is it like, it feels good to get money, but also it's like, you feel like your work is actually like people enjoy it. It's kind of one of those things. So it, it feels good to be like, that you're, you like it so much, you're willing to open your wallet. Because it's one thing, that they call it the verbal tip. And I used to be a waiter back in the day. Uh, I bartended as well. And uh, they call that the verbal tip. And it, it often happens, I, I don't want you to stereotype anyone, but I worked in a really uh, upscale area. And uh, you have a lot of older people, right? And so like so old ladies, for example, and it's not all old ladies, but it happened to me most frequently with them. They would come up to you and they would say, oh, you did such a great job. You were the nicest waiter. You were really, you know, attentive and you worked on me. And the thing about when you work in the industry for a while, that's called a verbal tip. That means they're giving you the tip verbally and you're going to get screwed later with the money. <laughs> and uh, it's not just, and I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pick on old ladies. It's not old ladies. Many people do this, uh, but it's called the verbal tip. <laughs> and... Uh, and, uh, you know, that's how they do it. They're like all so they're all nice and sweet. And like, you were so good. And then uh, it feels good. Right. But then you're like, you pick up your check and like, they give you like 5% or something like that. Um, so anyways, that's, you know, I don't really talk about that much in my videos, but since it came up in the chat, uh, I'll talk about it, but, uh, it definitely helps all of us out in the community and things like that. We appreciate it. Um, virtual fighter two. All right, guys, so that's my stories for today. To wrap it up, uh, my previous video I posted, if you're into the Pied Piggy, some updates on that. Uh, with this, it was more of a Jones playthrough. I haven't played with the Jones much. I didn't play any of the Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo because that's pretty standard on most images. The PlayStation image, the PlayStation game, game ROM set on here is pretty consistent. The N64 ROM set is pretty consistent with all the other images. But I think something that's a little different about this one was the arcade game set being 500 and the which games come on it. So I went through that earlier in the video. And then the uh, PSP minis on here, um, there's, you know, they're kind of, some of them can be fun. It's kind of like finding the diamond in the rough. So I agree, a lot of people in chat were saying they're all garbage games. There are some good games in there. You just kind of got to look for them. And uh, I enjoyed my full streams today. Enjoyed the music talk with Paps and Mad Little Pixel. And uh, a lot of new things coming up. So stay tuned and enjoy the rest of your evening. We'll see you guys later.